Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, I am only eating Easter food for 24 hours. I got these little bunny ears from Sainsbury's yesterday and I thought they were very fitting for the video, so I got them. Um, although the ears, I've really messed them up. They're a bit wavy now, I don't know if you can tell. They're kind of cute and they're really fluffy. They're really soft, like really soft. I don't think I'll be wearing them throughout the whole video, but I thought it'd be good for the beginning of the video anyway. If I sound a little bit stuffy it's because i'm getting over a cold i don't even know i could sound the same like i don't know but just in case i do sound a bit different that's why and it's my birthday this week as well so excited like i'm absolutely buzzing i'm turning 18 i just so excited but yeah so i'm gonna be eating easter food for 24 hours i'm really really looking forward to this i love these sort of videos i love watching these sort of videos and i love filming these sort of videos as well so with easter coming up i knew this was definitely something that i wanted to do I obviously didn't want to be eating Easter eggs for 24 hours because that wouldn't be good. <laughs> I I couldn't go a day without some sort of savoury food, like I genuinely couldn't. So I had to do some digging, but I found some good things. So for breakfast this morning, I'm pretty sure everyone's probably seen these everywhere. To go with the theme of my ears, I've got some bunny crumpets. Look how cute these are. They sort of also look a bit freaky. Like, is that just me that's seeing that? They just look a bit, like, you know what I mean? They just look a bit weird. These are from M&S, but I'm pretty sure every single supermarket is selling these at the minute. I did get a lot of my food today from M&S because, I don't know why, if it's Easter, Halloween, no matter what it is, they always have food to do with whatever occasion that is. So M&S was my best bet for this video. I'm gonna have two of these. I'm gonna stick them in the toaster and I'm gonna have it with some butter and I'll show you guys when it's done. So I've got my bunny crumpets. Right, I'm gonna put some butter on them because who eats dry crumpets? Like, are you okay? We're here on my crumpets. Um, this one I did first so it's all melted. This one you can still see the butter, but this is breakfast. You can't beat a plain crumpet. I'm doing the video for TikTok as well and I forgot to <laughs> I forgot to video the crumpets when they were done and I've just bitten the ears off. <laughs> I do prefer Warburton crumpets. These have a bit of like a sour aftertaste, which is a bit weird, but they are so nice. Do crumpets count as sweet or savoury food? I feel like it'd be sweet if you put like chocolate spread or something on top. It'd be savoury because it's just butter. Look, we're now matching. <laughs> Last bite. Okay, so that is my breakfast all done. Um, that was really nice. I'd rate them maybe an eight out of 10 because there was just that slightly sour taste and I have no idea what it is. Maybe it's my taste buds because I am just getting over a being ill um, and my taste and stuff is all a bit all over the place. It's not COVID, I've done like loads of tests, it's not COVID. That's all breakfast done. I will see you guys when I'm having a snack. I'm balancing you on so much stuff right now. It's my tripod, I wanna sit you there. My tripod can't sit there because it's too big. I'm gonna be having a snack um, and I've got a couple different things I wanna try. First thing being these. These are shortcake bunnies. Now, I love these type of biscuit. I love like sugar cookies, shortcake, that sort of thing. Got these, was well excited, didn't properly read that it says strawberry flavour shortcake. I don't like strawberry flavoured things unless it's like strawberry flavoured sweets. Anything strawberry flavoured in a cake, way too sweet. So I have no idea what these are gonna be like and I know they're gonna be that really sickly sweet strawberry like artificial taste. I was right. I was right. Oh, these are adorable. Taste test. First initial thing was, ugh, not nice. But it sort of tastes like a jammy dodger. I'm not really a fan of these. I don't really want to eat the rest because I've got my other snack here and I know I'm going to like it. Okay, snack number two, which should be a little bit more successful. It's just these, Aero Mini Eggs. I love the Peppermint Aero. It's the best thing ever. So good. I saw these and I got way too excited. Oh my days, it smells heavenly. Look how cool, it's like half and half. Oh my days. 
I can't get over how nice these are. Like, it literally just tastes like normal mint aero. But because it's like little egg shapes. I wonder if it is actually half and half. I wonder what's in the middle. Should we have a look? Right. I'm going to bite into a bit of the dark side. They've lied. It's green. It's all green. Even that side. How disappointing. These are very good. Like, 10 out of 10 good. I'm gonna have one more. I'm saving the rest. My brother and my mum. They were amazing. I definitely recommend. Get them now. Oh my god. I just realised I've got so many bunnies in my room. I've got these two. Little bunnies. How cute are these? Also, I've got this bunny, which I got for Christmas last year, which is just really cute. And last but most certainly not least, I've got this one, which is the newest edition. His name is Spaggy. Um, basically, my mum bought him for me last week to cheer me up because I was having a bit of a rough week. And um, she was like, what do you want to call him? And I'm like, I don't know. She was like, what's your favourite food? And I was like, like spaghetti carbonara sort of thing. She was like, why don't you call him Spaggy? So... This is Spaggy. I love him. He's so cute. This is my bunny collection. I have a problem. So for my lunch, I wanted something savoury and I found this in M&S and it is a dippy egg cheese bake. It looks like this. It looks so cool. So I'm going to have this with some fresh bread so I can dip the bread in. This says you have to put it in the oven for 28 to 30 minutes. Um, so I am going to do that. Look how cool this looks. It just looks like an egg. It's a mixture of different cheeses, so a blended cheese bake with extra mature cheddar cheese, full fat soft cheese, and red Leicester cheese with creme fraiche and garlic. Sounds amazing. I've got the wrapper off of it. I've smelt it, and all it smells like is, like, dairyly, you know, like, soft cheese. Right, so I'm going to bung this in the oven, and I'll see you guys when it's all done. So this is my lunch. I've just got a couple slices of bread with some butter, as well as the dippy egg cheese bake. Look how good this looks. Let's give this a try. It's gonna be so hot. Okay, that is incredible. I am such a cheese lover. Like I love my cheese. I love camembert and different bread in camembert. I love that sort of stuff. So this is very similar to that. And this is, I think that's why I love it so much. I'm gonna go and finish this. Um, I'm gonna go ask my mum as well. She wants me to cut her some bread so she can have some of this as well because I won't eat all the cheese. I have both the bread, but I won't eat all the cheese. If you're a cheese lover like me, you will love this. So I fancy a snack and I got this from M&S. It's just one of their yum nuts. Yum nuts are a cross between a yum yum and a donut. Yum nut, right? It's quite big, but look how nice that looks. I feel like it's gonna be really sickly. It's glazed as well. And then obviously you've got like the chocolate icing on top. Okay, that is the nicest thing I've had all day. Oh my God, that is amazing. I'm gonna try one of these eggs. So nice. I thought the chocolate icing was gonna be like too much on the top, but it definitely isn't. Right, so I'm gonna go and eat the rest of this and I'm gonna do some editing as well. So I will see you guys at dinner. Dinner is the only thing that I struggle to find something like Easter related with. Um, but then I was looking in M&S and I saw these, and so they're basically just chicken nuggets, but they're in the shape of Easter bunnies. I thought this was very fitting. I know a lot of the food I've eaten today is to do with bunnies, like my breakfast, them shortcake biscuit things, obviously these, um, but it's hard to find anything else, <laughs> to be honest. Um, but these look really good, and I've had normal M&S chicken nuggets before, and they are amazing, so these should be really nice. Um, I did consider doing like a lamb roast because I know that's like traditional sort of Sunday, like Easter Sunday sort of roasting, but um, I didn't really want to cook a full blown roast and I thought this was just sort of the easier option. So these take 20 minutes in the oven, I'm just going to have these with some chips and some ketchup. I'm going to do the whole pack because I'll have half and then my mum will have the other half. If you can hear anything it's just the oven behind me because I'm just preheating it, um, but obviously I'm no longer pescatarian, I forgot to mention that, um, so obviously I can eat meat now. I've laid all the chicken nuggets out and they look so cool, like little Easter bunnies. Whilst I'm waiting for dinner to cook, my nan got me an Easter egg, I'm twisting on the chair. <laughs> My nan got me an Easter egg, so I'm gonna have one of the little eggs because it comes with these like Oreo eggs as well. So I'm gonna have one of them now. I haven't had one of these in years. This is what the inside looks like. It's just got like Oreo filling. So the chicken nuggets are done. Look how cool these look. 
So I've got my dinner. This looks really nice. The chips are a little bit underdone, but I'm on a massive rush because I'm just about to go out with my friend um, and she's going to turn up any second. So I need to quickly eat this before she turns up. Uh, but I'm going to try on chicken nuggets and I'll let you know my thing. I've got some ketchup as well I'm going to have with it. Right, I'm trying one of the nuggets. Oh, they're nice. Right, I'm going to eat the rest of this and I will see you guys later. Okay, so I just got back from being out with my friend. I had a really lovely time. If you can hear anything in the background, it's just the washing machine going around. But... I fancy a little snack and it wouldn't be an only eat an Easter food for 24 hours video if I didn't include an Easter egg. Now I've got two here, I've actually got three, I've got my Cadbury's Oreo one, but I eat Cadbury's so much so I fancy something a little different. Um, this one's Nestle or this one's by M&S and I think I want to try the M&S one because this one has got toffee popcorn pieces in it. How amazing does that sound? So I think I'm going to dig into this. And I'm gonna try it. It sounds absolutely amazing though. How do you even get it out? You're gonna have to like break it. Maybe you just pull it. I literally cannot get it out. I'm gonna have to push. It's the only way to get it out. <laughs> so some people do that and crack their head with it to open it, but I have health anxiety. <laughs> and that is going to make me paranoid that I've done something to my head for the whole night. So, I'm just going to whack it instead, so, there you go. <laughs> oh wow, this is good. This smells like crunchy. Let's try. That is amazing. Look at this, it's got like a full on piece of popcorn in it. It's like one of those things you just can't stop eating as well. I'm going to have this much more, and then I'm going to call it a day. Why is it you can never reroute Easter eggs? This is the best it's going to get. Right, so I'm going to end the video here. I really, really enjoyed filming this video today. It's been so much fun. And I've loved everything I've eaten as well. Minus them, strawberry shortcake, bunnies. I was not a fan of those. They were not my cup of tea. There might be someone else's though, so try them out. But for me, it was a no. Everything else has been really nice though. But happy Easter to everyone watching this. It's not technically Easter yet, but... Happy Easter for Good Friday, and I hope everyone enjoys the weekend eating lots of yummy chocolate. So I know a lot of people that do follow me struggle with their eating like I do as well, so take this as your reminder that if you are struggling with your eating or whatever, you are allowed chocolate. Don't feel bad eating chocolate, don't feel guilty, you're allowed to treat yourself, and you deserve it. It's Easter, come on, it comes one time a year. Not like I'm saying you can't stuff your face with chocolate every single day of the week, but especially when it's Easter time because... There's no better excuses there, except when it's Christmas or your birthday or any occasion. <laughs> That's what I'm using at the minute. It's my birthday soon. So, but I really hope you all enjoyed this video and please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below. Also, don't forget to go follow me over on my Instagram. It's just Amy Jane Ketley and I shall see you in my next video. Bye.